always say. Well, we spend a staggering $800 million a year in Australia on quick fix diet. Things like lemon detox diets, skinny me tea diets, there's a whole bunch of them. But there is a much cheaper way to lose weight. And today, nutritionist Joanna McMillan has six surefire weight loss foods. Joanna, just quickly, $800 million is yes. ridiculous. And it just goes mm. to show, obviously, people are trying everything because mm. nothing's working. So you've got six That's foods right. that you well, reckon do it better. I think it shows desperation. You know, we do yeah. want that real quick fix. But the foods that I've chosen are ones that are well researched and we understand what their effects are and they really can help. But I've got to say, you need to have it as part of an overall plan that looks at your lifestyle and helps you to achieve these things forever so that yep. you change the way that you're living your life and what you're eating for the long term. Okay. So the foods I've brought along, the first one is the humble old egg. Yes. You know, these are just everyday foods that I've got. They're not difficult to get a hold of. You know, you get them in every supermarket. And what the research shows is that when you have eggs for breakfast, it's very good at filling you up. You feel quite satisfied. You're less likely to be reaching for a muffin with your morning coffee. So eggs are just a great addition and, and use them beyond breakfast. So, you know, a quick omelette for dinner when you've not got any shopping in. They'll fill or you up. Hard-boiled some eggs for snacks through the day. Fantastic. Yogurt? Natural yogurt. So there's two things here. One is it's high protein and it's low GI. So again, it's fantastic for filling you up, keeping you full for longer. But probiotic yogurts also give you healthy bacteria. And the latest research is showing that that healthy bacteria in your gut actually has an impact on your weight. Now, this is a whole new area of research, and we're going to see a lot more in this area, but certainly that's a good start. All right, tea. Green tea. So all teas are beneficial to us, but green tea seems to have something very particular about it. It seems to maybe block some fat absorption, seems to change the way that fat is metabolized in a very small way. So, of course, just drinking green tea is not enough. Any caffeine part, in that? A little bit of caffeine. It's got about half the caffeine of coffee. Okay. So if you're sensitive to caffeine, watch green tea in the evening, but certainly drinking it through the day is where you'll get the benefits. Grains. Grains. So, you know, we've had a lot of grain bashing of late and people following low carb diets and so on. We've got mm. a bit scared of carbs. So I just urge people to be sensible and think about what I call the smart carbs. So these are where the grain is more or less intact. The whole grain is there with all the fiber and the nutrients, the B vitamins, which help you to use energy. Those are, they're essential, in fact, for creating energy. So go for the whole grain options. They're very difficult to overeat. And they're, again, they're a part of that filling you up. They're going to feed the good bacteria in your colon and keep your gut healthy. Pears. Pears. Surprise. I know you're surprised. I am. We forget about pears. There was a beautiful study just done in Brazil that showed that if they fed as part of a healthy diet, they fed these women either pears or apples or a similar amount of calories or kilojoules from an oat cookie. And the people eating the pears, the girls eating the pears, lost more weight. So the fiber, the antioxidants, the filling power of these kind of really humble everyday fruits mm -hmm. can really help you to lose weight. And you've got nuts on the end there. And then the last one, nuts. Yep. So they're fiber rich. They're giving you plant protein. They're helping control um, hunger. They help to control your blood sugar levels. They're just a great way of staving off hunger between meals. But not too many. And I say just go for the raw natural ones and take a handful of days all you need. Okay. Um, you've got six foods there, but mm. uh, report in today's Daily Telegraph says that green coffee bean extract is yeah. a good weight loss um, uh, food. Well, it's not really a food, it's an extract. It's a supplement. And it went crazy because Dr. Oz um, did something mm. on his show about it. You can only buy it online. Yeah, I, look, I, I was wondering how long it would take for this story to hit the press because, of course, it went viral online and the supplement sold out in the States when Dr. Oz had it on his show. Does it and work? No, the trouble is that this was one very small study that looked at green coffee bean extract. So it's like the young coffee bean. They've extracted the particular chemicals that may be involved in a very small way in fat metabolism, but then they're promoting it as being, you know, the way to lose weight. So I just urge people, save your money. There is no such thing as a magic bullet like this. We don't yeah. have with the, the study that's behind this we don't know that it's safe in the long term we certainly don't know that it's effective so I just say to people save your money spend yeah. your money in the grocers on really good foods and do something that's consistent and that will give you long-lasting results it's not going to cost a fortune absolutely okay thanks a lot for that Joanna makes a lot of sense as always <laughs> time now to get a check 